Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your October 2018 general reading. It's a general read, so it will not resonate with each and every Libra out there. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you guys, and let's get started. Um, Libra, lots going on for you. Uh, lots of spiritual growth. Lots of insightful um, dreams, epiphanies, premonitions, some even prophecies. Um, some of you are expanding um, your academic uh, portfolio, I guess you will. Um, some of you have gone back to school or will be going back to school. Some of you have some people around you who absolutely adore you. They love you. Um, they view you as absolutely, you know, gorgeous Libra, you know, Venus, beauty, um, inside and out. But um, they don't know where you are. They can't figure you out. Sometimes they don't, they just don't know. You be dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then there's Capricorn and there's Virgo. I mean, it could be any sign. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know. We'll see what the cards have to say. Um, some of you have businesses or a business. I don't know. I don't see anything for the business. It's like a big ass blank. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I don't even curse. It's like a big blank. It's like, uh, yeah. And maybe that's how you're feeling toward your business right now. There's way too many. We won't keep those. If they come back out, then we know. Right? Um Some of you, your business is doing good, it's picking up, it's, it's growing, it's keeping you busy, it's all get out. Um, it's taxing us, draining your energy a bit. You're gonna get to a place where you get frustrated and you say something you don't absolutely mean. All right, that's that. The Hermit, Virgo, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Well, fortune, five of swords. So, so Libra, you fought really hard for something. You're fighting really hard for something. Some of you try to manifest. Um, you manifest a lot of options here. You kept going even in the face of adversity, even in the face of of not having enough. Um, there might be some family issues. There might be some, some friend issue. There's relationship issue here. But you, you keep going. Some of you... So you energetically monetarily you're fighting for something and it's uh, it's here it's almost here it's the three of wands you're waiting for it you're waiting for your ships to come in you know that you deserve this you fought hard for it <clears throat> this could be in you know career and finance let's see what did i tell you four of wands three of, this could be the purchase, a large purchase here. This could be home. This could be new contracts for a business. This could be car. You are fighting for stability. You're fighting for, I mean like, and when I say fighting, I mean like you, you're going up against what seems like you, an uphill battle. Like you're, you know, um, 
one door closes and you just like, okay, but that's fine. I'll go to this door. They hand you another stack of papers to fill out. And you're like, Shh, well, this sucks, but you know what? I'm filling them out. I'm going to fill them out right here in your face. Something had to crumble so that it could be built up. Something, something around your intuition. Some of you got some like intuitive nudges and and sights and you know prophecies and dreams and all that stuff. Maybe around a particular person could be a Piscean person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is the person you're supposed to be with. They bring in balance. They bring in healing. They help you. It could be a Sagittarius. They miss you, you miss them. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This is how they're viewing you. Wow. The woman or the man of their dreams, someone they want to definitely procreate with. You're sexy, you're alluring, you're smart, you're funny, you're attractive, you're charismatic, you're outgoing. But once again, they can't figure you out. It's been a fight here. You might even be separated. Someone wants to lay down what happened in the past. Abandon. They want to abandon. Yep. They just want to abandon what went bad. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They just, they want to lay it down. You know, y'all have held on to negativity in regards to the relationship for so long. They want the six of wands with you. They want to be that husband figure. They want to come in and swoop in and give action because they're hurt. And they feel like you cut them out. They want to come in and take action. They've made the decision that you will get the final offer. I don't know who this is for. They cannot stop thinking about you. Maybe a Piscean person. They think about it all. The good, the bad, the ugly. They can't stop thinking about you. Someone wants them to come in and give some truth and some clarity. It causes a bit of confusion. But even in the midst of that confusion, there comes the culmination of the, of the relationship. Of what it's supposed to be. Heavy anxiety for somebody because this is a leap of faith that maybe Libra is taking or the other person is taking with Libra because, like I said, it was turbulence in the past. It was craziness. They're going to have to be strong, maintain their strength in dealing with this situation. This could be you, Libra. This could be the other person. Messages from Libra. Let me see. It just looks like Libra is a place of just rest and letting things happen naturally, of uh, taking the reins off, no longer controlling it or trying to control it. Whatever happens, happens. Seven of Swords for some of you. Let's see. The world. The Wheel of Fortune, wow. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Knight of Knight of Pentacles, the Star Card, the Hermit, and then we'll leave with the Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Once again, those you dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in particular. Um we're going here again. Um, this is like a, a heavy, heavy energy of there was like an inner knowing from for, from someone or in somebody knew what this relationship was before the other person knew. 
and there was just so much butting of the heads and so much problem and, and so much drama and it was always the tug of war and the, the push and the pull. I think it's coming to the culmination of knowing that there's love here and it has to be solidified. You, gotta get, you get, guys have to heal from the past. Go within. Someone has already gone within. And they realize what this is. They're heartbroken or they were or they somebody was in a third party situation. And the other person is still holding on because they, they just someone's devising a plan of action to, to put this stuff together. Like look at that. I mean the world, the will of fortune, the queen of pentacles, the ace of cups, knight of cups. Somebody wants something solid and stable. Someone has manifested something solid and stable, whether this is new home to um, somebody's manifested something solid and stable. This is what they want. This is what fulfills them on a soul level. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be a business. It could, but this is new home. This is new love, new friendship. Someone has gone through the healing process. Somebody is protecting their heart. Maybe against this cancer Piscean person here. This person is is um can be manipulative, but this this was the person that was all over the place. They're working hard to get you back. Heavy anxiety. Man, they, they, they're coming with gifts. They feel like this is you for the relationship. They feel like you feel like it's toxic. If you're dealing with a Piscean person or, or Capricorn. Yeah. If you're dealing with an Aquarius person. You guys may have been married. You guys are trying to come back together and really make it work here. I mean, the same cards are coming out in a different deck. Make it work, Libra. Somebody's coming back. They want to make it work for real. They absolutely adore you. That's some good energy there. Let's see. If you have questions, here are your angel answers, Libra. Oh, and happy birthday, by the way. Sorry. success nice all right so some of you didn't know where you stood in a situation choosing a direction within the next few weeks not the right time communicate clearly abundance nice, 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 nice. all right let's see let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here to see where you are, what you should be focused on moving forward, Libra. Lots of spiritual growth. A lot of, you know, a lot of you have evolved, done the work. You, you know what was wrong or what wasn't working in the past. And um, you want to you wanna move forward. You want to heal that. That's a beautiful thing. Sentimental feelings gracefully aging, flipped out and over end of an era we see that like you have been going back and forth with this tug of war maybe with someone um some business partner some business situation whatever end of that era there take the next step now nice heavenly signs like i said you've been getting a lot of epiphanies of religion and spirituality about what a particular situation means to you it means for you. Some of you doing spiritual work, heavenly signs and religion and spirituality. Get into a place where, you know, it, it's heavy on you. You're feeling the sentiment of everything and everyone. Protect your energy. Um, 
some people come to drain you. I don't know where it comes from. What I want. Anyway, um, Libra, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Take advantage of the monthly subscri subscription. Um, it's five minutes with me every month for five dollars. Um, you can do that over the phone um, or you can do it over Skype. Uh, you can ask a question or two, whatever we can fit in five minutes and um, get your monthly guidance there. Especially if you're going through something, going through a situation, divorce, starting a new business, closing a business, trying to buy a home, trying to do whatever. You have questions, something that's ongoing in your life life altering decisions go ahead and take advantage of that monthly subscription um also the ten dollar um yes or no spread what we're going to do right now is the ten is this yes or no spread for a libra all right um take advantage of that over at the website also okay so we're going to ask Will this reconciliation or will this relationship, this divine relationship for Libra, will it turn out well? Will it turn out well? Will this relationship turn out well for Libra? This, this divine relationship. Keep in mind this relationship can be with self too. Some of you are coming into who or what you need to be for, um, you know, some of your spiritual workers, tarot card readers, psychics, will this relationship work out for you? And some of you, it's an actual romantic relationship. Oh, wow. Just got a yes. Okay. Will this relationship work out for you? Strength and reverse, ten of cups in reverse, four of wands upright, the high priestess, the bottom of the deck. Use your intuition. Um, it's saying no. It will not work out for you. Maybe because we have strength in reverse. You don't know if you're strong enough to get past maybe um, the breakdown emotionally that you had in regards to this relationship. Especially if it's external to you now this is your intuition and your spiritual side being heightened then i don't honestly i don't feel like this is for you but if this is a relationship with another person you may not be strong enough to move it forward it can be solid it can be stable do you have the strength to put the past in the past spirit is telling you something here all right Yes or no spread. That's that. Take advantage of that over at my website. Um, know that I'm praying for you, Libra. Pray for me as well. Take care. Have a great October. Happy birthday and happy Halloween. Bye.